Great Karma right here. Checking it out for the first time. The remote control right here. That's where he sees. Pretty steady. Give it a little bit. Check it out how stable it is. You heat it down and then you stop letting go. It basically keeps going down. It's pretty stable though. So good. Going on there right now. Ready to fly. Oh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Just um, started this for the first time. You know, obviously, like everything else, you get a little concerned with new stuff that you buy um so you know thousand bucks you know after all is said and done got the drone for around i think 720 bucks and i got the camera for around 280 bucks so that's seven eight yeah so it's around a thousand dollars right there um i love the remote control the way it comes with the screen you can see it right here the drone is pretty nice. Um, I, don't know, I like it. I own the Mavic Pro, um, but this thing, you know, has the screen, and that's what I like about it. And the the um, gimbal comes out, and you can use the grip, as you guys know already. Um, but it's pretty sweet. Um, let's see. I'm gonna start it. You know, basically, it's the first time I'm using this thing. Three, so when you hold it down, two, one, it does the countdown. And then the um, propellers. Hmm, that was weird. Let's do it again. Ready to fly. Why is it doing that if um okay, let's do it again? Three, two, one. So I started the motors. The motors just start and they're really really soft. As you can see, it's kind of quiet. But Ready if you wait a couple fly. of seconds, it shuts off. So I guess if you don't, it's just ready to start, press the hold, the hold the start button to start the motor. So Three, I do that. Two, one. Once I do that, I'm supposed to tap the auto takeoff, but if ready I don't do that, fly. Huh, that's weird. Three, two, one. Back it up a little bit. Bring it up a little bit. That's pretty high up there. It says here that that's um, 62 feet high. Um, I'll we'll bring it down again. Ready to fly. Pretty 
pretty cool. Actually works pretty cool. Um, one trick is, or one thing that I learned is for you guys that are, might be thinking of getting this, when you do get it, when you do purchase the camera and you're going to put the camera, you're going to attach the camera to the actual casing or housing from the gimbal. Um, myself, I was like, how the hell is the little door supposed to, because the, the water, the camera is waterproof and it has a little door that you open. I never messed with the GoPro camera before. And see, so when you open the door, it looks like it was attached and it wouldn't come off. But very simply, the camera, I mean, the, I'm sorry, the um, actual little door has like a little, um, so it has like an opening on the little door that you can literally pull up, turning the door left or right, and the whole thing comes off. Then you're able to slide you know, take it off and then slide the camera into the actual sleeve with, I'll make a video about that later on. But other than that, I mean, this thing is pretty, pretty nice. Um, it holds pretty, I mean, it's, it's not as stable as the Mavic, but it's pretty nice. And this is gonna be my first video about the Karma. And I'm gonna have a whole bunch more that are gonna be coming up, okay? So if you got any comments, you can leave them be below. Any questions that I can answer, um, certainly will, okay? Thank you guys for watching and uh, to the next one.